everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm always looking for new things to add to my home gym, and I scored this piece of equipment the other day on the curbside, but uh, it's in pretty rough shape. It's dirty, it's rusty, it's ripped, it's missing pieces, so in today's video we're going to be refurbishing it, cleaning it up, getting it back into working order, so let's do it. So it came with this curl bar, which does not go on a bench, but it's pretty rusty, so I'm going to clean that up as well. You can see there's rust on the metal here. The black paint is all dirty. Um, the seats got some rips in them. It's missing the bar that goes on the back for the to put the incline up. This piece for the leg extension is missing the attachment right here. And everything just needs a good clean. I'm going to start cleaning this first because the rust remover is going to need time to sit so I'll be able to clean the rust while this is working its magic. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run it over with this wire brush to get off any loose dirt and rust that I can first. it for maybe five minutes or so and it's looking better already and this is a reminder as to why you should always wear gloves <laughs> I've removed the loose rust and dirt from the surface and now for the stuff that's more heavily rusted I'm going to apply some of this rust dissolver jelly and let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes thick layer of the gel and now we just let it sit. I did not get any on the black painted part because this will remove the paint so I only put it on the bare steel parts. While the rust dissolver is working its magic I'm going to start cleaning the rest of the pieces that are black and painted. Um, I don't want to use something as abrasive of that so I'm going to be using this LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner and this is concentrated so I did dilute some down into about 10 in 1 solution. And I'm just going to be using a little green scrub pad to kind of get it out best I can and then wipe it off with a clean towel. change of scenery I started to get rained on so I'm in the garage now I'm gonna finish the work inside which will be fine because the chemical part is done so it's not gonna stink up the place um, but it's about time for that to come off so I'm just gonna go over it one more time with the wire brush and I'm gonna spritz it down with some water and then wipe it off with some paper towels
finished wiping it down. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a lot better. It's silver now. Look at how shiny that is. Beautiful. I could probably do one more layer if I wanted to. But I think this is good enough for now. It's way better than it was. These pieces cleaned up nice. I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to let that air dry. Once the barbell is dry, the last step is to add some type of oil to it. Um, I'm going to use the VD40. You could also use a 3-in-1 oil, um, but it really should be coated with something to protect the metal and help you get the most life out of the barbell. The next thing I'm going to work on is the padding. Anytime you have tears or rips in the seat or the back pads, it's going to be irritating against the skin. It's going to soak up sweat, dirt, and other bacteria. So it is something that needs to be fixed. Now, depending on how badly ripped yours is, you've got one or two options. If it was very badly ripped and torn, cracked, dried out, I would suggest reupholstering the entire piece. And by that, I mean unscrewing it from the bar on the back, taking the staples out, taking the vinyl off, taking the foam off, cutting a new piece of foam and vinyl, staple it back on, and screw it back on the bar. Whereas mine only has some rips here and there, I'm going to go with option number two, which is handy dandy duct tape. It is reliable, it's cost effective, comes in a variety of colors, it's strong, and it's easy to apply. So this is the option I'm going to go with. If I put duct tape just over the torn spots, it's going to look kind of patchy. So I decided I'm going to put duct tape over the whole thing and make the whole thing nice and even. So I'm going to start down here at the bottom and put one piece and just work my way up to the top. Notice that I am overlapping just a tiny bit of the tape every time so it's kind of like shingles so that nothing can get up underneath the tape. final seat looks like. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry for the glare. But yeah, I think that came out pretty good. It took one whole roll to do the top piece and then not even probably a quarter of a roll to do the, the bottom piece. And I got this heavy duty black duct tape at the Dollar Tree so for buck twenty five you can't you can't beat it. You can't get a cheaper fix than that. And like I said, duct tape comes in a variety of colors. You can get it anywhere. So if you don't want black, you could do blue, you could do stripes. You could really customize this bench to be however you like it. I think you can't go wrong with good old duct tape. The next thing we're gonna do is attach the leg extension piece. It goes right here, but as you can see, it is missing the bolt that holds it on. So you can either look at the other bolts that are already on here and go to Home Depot and try to piece together the bolts and the washers that you need. Or I decided to do a pin and clip like you see on trucks and tow hooks and things like that. I got this one at Home Depot. I think it was less than five bucks and it's in the automotive section. I'm just gonna undo the clip, take it out, put it through the hole. And then clip it on the other end. And there you go. It's attached. <laughs> 
And of course there are different diameters and lengths. So measure the size hole that you need to go through and how far out it needs to go on each side so that you pick up the right one at the store. I think this clip is a great solution and it's easy to remove in case I ever need to take this piece off for whatever reason. So definitely a good fix. All right, just a couple more things to fix and we are done. So next up, this seat can be laid down flat for a normal bench press, or it can be raised up two different heights to be an incline bench press. However, it is missing the metal bar that goes from here to here. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I picked up this one inch by one inch square wooden dowel and it fits exactly right in the holes. So all I'm going to do is cut this to length and then spray paint it black and you never know. You got a brand new bar. The last thing to take care of is the foam rollers. These are still in pretty good condition. They don't have chunks missing out of them. They're not too dried out. Um, if they were, I would replace them. You can either order new rollers from the manufacturer or I think you can even get some on Amazon. You can probably get them anywhere now. Um, but since these are still in pretty good condition, I'm just going to wipe them down with some warm water and some mild soap and let them dry. guys here's the finished weight bench all cleaned up and pretty I think it came out freaking awesome and I am so excited to start using this Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some quick and cheap solutions if maybe you're trying to do the same thing. So, thank you so much for watching guys. I love you and I will catch you in the next vlog.